good morning everyone welcome back to the class i hope you people are good and safe at your home thank you i am also good and safe please take care about your health so following the precautionary measures are required in this situation please do not go outside stay at your home and be safe if you want to go outside make use of a mask it is compulsory mandatory for in this situation in this situation it's required a lot and have a sanitizer with you always carry the sanitizer with you always and apply into your hand and wash your hand frequently if you go outside and have social distance and the please make use of online transaction when you go outside for purchasing many goods or many other, any other commodities uh, make use of online transaction it's a time to learn all those things is not it is a modern age uh, you need to be uh, what do you call the familiar with the operation of all these uh, gadgets or information technologies it's requ it's required to learn all these things i hope you people are know and we are well aware about all these things so make use of these all the things so to avoid the spreading of these diseases not only this covid 19 there are many diseases please be away from all the diseases and so if you are away from all the diseases if you are maintaining a well health then you will be having a good uh, what do you call the path for learning is not you will get a interest to learn so that's what in the last classes we have been discussing about the first chapter of history uh, it has so many things to discuss is not already we have completed the somewhat 60% 70% of this um, first chapter of history so i hope you people uh, understood the concept what we discussed till now and the makers of a textbook there are they have given uh, somewhat a brief here uh, i i am also discussing the briefly about that but uh, it's a written form in the textbook you'll be getting a written form it will be there permanently so that when you get a uh, what about when you not can about when you can about uh, if you're not able to remember the things you can look into our textbook so that make use of our textbook so we'll continue our class like it was the third concept what you have been discussing the age of a revolution in 1830 1848 in between the 1830 and 1848 so uh, we have been discussing earlier the only revolutionarist and the middle class family they how led the revolution Uh, they are the main reasons means because of them the revolution has been started in the france so this revolution it has got spread all over the uh, european continent so not only the middle class family so many other people they have started to join their hand for the revolution the reason for the revolution was different and it was their concern according to their it was means um, to fulfill their needs to come up from the problems they led their revolution but at at last the result it was the revolution for getting a freedom to get a one nationalism or one liberalism so that was whatever it may be the many people they had a different groups of people so every group of people they had a different problem from the different people so they led means they rose their voice and hand against of them so that led means that created the revolution so this all this revolution has gathered together and that it's called as a revolution for the nationalism or the freedom about that we have discussed and the romantic imaginations and the national flags in last class we have discussed because the people of a european country the countryside or village or many Uh, other places in the town and cities even the cities also the people who are living there they were not educated most of them are not educated only few people of a clergy and nobility of a first estate and a second estate they were educated except them the remaining people of european continent they were not educated they could not able to understand the things which is written in the form written form so that reason the poets and the journalist and about the story writers and many other philosophers they have started to write and draw the pictures in favor to the the common people the common people they were good at their folk songs folk dance folk stories and the traditional stories they are familiar with that and they knew about that so that reason 
these poets scholars and story writers they have gone in their own way means they gone with the way of the common people through all of them they gone and they have created the national feeling you know, feeling in among them to the writing stories the poem the folk songs and the folk dance and by creating the dramas and scripts by playing the dramas and skits by drawing the pictures so by all these things they have created the nationalism feeling in every common people it's called as a romantic feeling a romantic imaginations and also the languages in their own languages they have tried to means they have written and they have uh, spoke in their own languages so language and culture these are the two important factor along with the war not only the war or fighting it has got a uh, it is uh, reason for getting a revolution the language and also culture is another one reason to get a uh, the freedom for the people of a european continent so that's what we discuss and uh, now we'll be discussing about the hunger hardship and popular revolt hunger hardship and popular revolt hunger the people who were starving who were dying because of a starvation because of hungry there also rose their voice against of this uh, system political system and the economic system so it led for the revolution this also supported for the great revolution and the hardship hardness because of the situation economic uh, situation the gdp is gone down on that time so the hardship they needed to face because of a downfall in the economy and as a popular revolt because of this hunger and hardship the popular revolt has been uh, formed it has appeared in the european continent mainly in the german after the france german italy hungary austria so there many uh, popular revolt has took place so that's all about we'll be discussing here the 1830s were year of great economic hardship in europe 1830 so 1830s the, from the 31 32 30, 30 like that so uh, approximately the 1830s the year is called as economic hardship the great economic hardship in the euro economy economy the increase in the price decrease in the price and getting employment and getting a basic needs and having export import so having problem in the export and import having problem in getting buying the from uh, food products this all is related to the economic activity economic hardship there as we know the aristocracies they were suppressing the people of a lower classes on that time so there uh, some part of a people in the european continent they got a freedom even though the people who got a freedom who were about to get a freedom they were under the problem because now the aristocracy crises are not supporting means the common people they were getting some food wages from the aristocracies now aristocracies they have created their own like uh, conservatives they have joined with uh, with the conservatism conservatist group so here uh, the low uh, what you call the common people they have created their own group called as liberalism and nationalism they were fighting to get a nationalism is one nation to create a one nation but here they were supporting for uh, what you call the conservatism conservatist along with the conserv they joined their hands with the conservatives and they were supporting for a conservatism so here the common people they were facing a problem because the daily wages were not getting for the common people and the price of a food product got increased and also the first half of a 19th century was so an an economic what do you call the enormous increase in the population so because of increase in the population in the half of a 19th century means in the 1830 in between the 1800 to the 1850 in between the 1850 uh, the population got increased the enormous population got increased so when the population got increased the demand for the food it will be increases automatically but the food the price of a food is increased the population also got increased to buy the food products they are not having a money because they are not getting a job the most countries they were more seekers of a job than employment here in the european continent most countries they were seekers of a job they were only less people they had a employment they had job only less people they had a job so only the, the limited number of a population cannot uh, 
satisfy the need of a large number of people over there large number of a group of people there is not suppose only five people are getting the job in a family there are 20 people then 15 people they need a basic needs as a food the only five people cannot uh, support all these 15 peoples then it will be having some crisis problems that problem was facing in the uh, before of a uh, mid 18th century in the european continents and the population from rural area migrated to the cities to live in the overcrowded slums population in the rural means in the villages area they have moved towards the cities in the villages they were not getting a food crops means whatever they were uh, getting a food uh, products uh, what do you call the crop products in the villages they were not having much prices for that the price for their food product was reduced and also price of a food means uh, ultimately what they will be getting a food the price of finished goods it was very high the price of raw material was very low so this problem was faced by the people who are living in the villages in the European continent so that reason the people who are living in the village they were started to move towards the city to get a job to get a basic needs over there they are in the cities they did not they could not get a places because earlier basically the cities were filled with the population more population buildings and many types of activities but people who were gone from these villages towards the cities they did not get a places they were sleeping under the bridges bridge and in the food bath many people they are settled means they are settled over there for night in the many nights they were settled under the bridge and in the food uh, food path so that was a problem they are faced in this year in the uh, mid of or half of a 19th century the food shortage and widespread unemployment brought the population paris out on the road in 1848 so after some more the 15 years from the 1830 the 15 18 years the population got increased the food shortage got increased because the power as the population increased demand for the food increased at the same time the food prices was high so that reason the population of a Paris they came on the road means they did not get a place to live and to get a food they came out from their houses home they came out in search of a food in 1848 the Louis Philippe was supposed to flee so Louis Philippe he has elected as a head of that is not he was a king which was elected by the National Assembly but this Louis Philippe now is forced to move away from the places forced to move away from his power the national assembly proclaimed a republic granted suffrage to all adult males above 21 and guaranteed the right to work the national assembly they have means earlier it was their national assembly is not so uh, they the group of national assembly the national assembly body they have given right to vote for the uh, male above 21 years they have given earlier they were uh, males they had only the male who were paying the taxes they had a right to vote the male who didn't have asset properties in his name or he is not suppose he is not paying the taxes he was not able to miss he was not having right to vote so now the national assembly they have proclaimed they have announced they have uh, what do you call um, implemented the new rules and law that the male of uh, male of above 21 age can have a right to vote if he don't have a asset the property he can have a vote, right to vote so that's what they have guaranteed the right to work even so when the people they were moving from uh, villages to the cities uh, they they were not having a right to work is not they were suppressed and they were uh, dominated by the upper class people now the national assembly they have promoted they have given the right to work for the, all the people in the European continents. The earlier in the 1848, 1845, earlier 1845, so 1848 we have been discussing now. Earlier in the 1845, the weavers in a Cilicia had led a revolt against constructor, contractors who supplied them raw material and gave them orders for finished textile. So in earlier in the 1848. So this is explained broadly, means it's explained create, creatively by the journalist. The journalist named for us Wilhelm Wolf. Wilhelm Wolf. 
and Wilhelm Wilhelm Holt, the journalist, he has explained about Silesia's village. It's a village. So he has explained like this on the fourth uh, June in 1845. 4th June 1845 at 2 p.m. The large crowd viewers they have gathered together over there uh, from their homes and marched the Paris up to the mansion of their contractors demanding higher wages. The contractors fleet miss their the situation, the reward miss uh, the event which was took place in the June 4th, 1845 at 2 p.m. It was like this. The weavers they have marched marched from the village of Silesia towards Paris in demanding the more wages. Because the contractor they were getting the raw material from the village people for low prices. These people of Silesia they were producing the uh, agriculture activity. Their main activity was agriculture activity. They were producing the agriculture foods, raw material as a raw material. So these contractor, they were getting the raw material for low prices. Means farmers, they were getting the low prices for the uh, product. Means for their uh, raw materials. When the contractors, they were getting the raw material from the farmers and they were selling selling that into the uh, industries. So in the industries they were getting the final products, goods, it's called as a final product. So that final product again that was sold to the common people in the high prices. So it was a problem was faced by these uh, village peoples and also they have demanded for more price for their raw material, what they have produced, suppose cotton. Cotton produce murder, one kg cotton gave her a rupee for the rest day. Are they one kg cotton the good or butter the RC and get no rupee martyr? So either in the e common people gain Matu Tondrak Tabantu, Alkaridi Mada Tondraitu, Matilla produce murder, Washan Gatle Beradu, cotton produce murder, very red rupee sick tide. Our get daily daily basic needs in Beka Italana, Tagola Kaktila. So this was a problem faced with the Silicio towns, Miss Silicio village people. So they have uh, revolted against of this contractor. And the contractor fled with his family to the neighboring villages, which is, however, refused to shelter such a person. Means that contractor from one village, they have fled, they have moved, means uh, they have escaped from there. When these people of Silesia, they have started revolution, the contractor, they have escaped from there and they have started to set, means, uh, they have started to get a shelter in the other villages, the neighboring villages. But the neighboring villages, they knew, they knew the story of these fellows but they refused they didn't give uh, shelter for them and but then the contractors they returned 24 hours later having requisition of army along with the of army they came back again after one day they came back again with the army with the help of army in the exchange that followed the 11 waivers were showed so when they came along with the um, what do you call the army then they have made the weavers to show. Means weavers, the family like uh, Silesia uh, town peoples, uh, there are some of them were weavers. What the uh, the people they were weaving the cloths, they didn't get a much price for them. So in the market, the price of cloth was high, but the weavers they were getting a less price, and the farmers they were getting a less price, means less wages. Weavers also getting less. Uh, prices means uh, the wages so it was a problem of our people of Silesia villages so they led this led for the revolution in the 1840 in between the 1830 to 1848 now we'll be discussing about the revolution of liberals in 1848 the poor unemployment and the starving peasants and the workers in the many european countries in the eight, in the year of 1848 a revolution led by the educated people classes was underway underway so here um, the revolution of a poor unemployment and the people who were starving and the people who were under the suppression and the problem they were making a revolution so this revolution was overtaken the revolution of middle class peoples because the extent which the people of poor and unemployment was they were doing the revolution was very stronger then the revolution was doing by this class middle class uh, family because the problem was faced by, the problem uh, facing by the poor unemployment and the peasant was more than this middle class so that it was very stronger than this middle class family but then also for the middle class people 
uh, they have started me, they have continued their revolutions, they were revolt. Men and women of a liberal middle classes combined their demands for constitutionalism with the national unification. So they have started to get a national unification. This one nation idea was brought by this middle class people. Then here this territory was divided and it was distributed in under the name of different kings. So now the idea of middle class people was to get all this to all this territory as one nation to create a one uh, nation state. So that was their idea. Then the all men and women of this middle class they gathered they gathered together and they started to get a nationalism. Means they started to get a one nation state. They drafted a constitution for a German nation to be headed by the monarch subject to the parliament. They they have drafted a constitution which is headed by the monarch subject to the parliament. So means monarch means they have selected a monarch and but it's headed by that but he is not having much power. The William IV, King of Persia, rejected it. Means here, when the, the constitution drafted, when the National Assembly, they created their own constitution and they drafted the constitution and they have chosen one monarchy as head of the parliament. They have chosen. The monarchy name is Wilhelm IV. Wilhelm IV, they have chosen him as a parliament leader. But he has refused it. And he has reject, rejected that and he has joined his hand with the people, means a king of neighboring country. He has joined his hand with the monarch of a neighboring country to oppose the constitution which was created in this. So, the while the opposition of aristocracy and military becomes stronger, the social basis of parliament eroded. The parliament which was created by based on the socialists got eroded when the Wilhelm IV has joined hand with the people of means a king of other country then the army along with the army of other monarch people it's got strengthened it's got a stronger so here the strength of these um, what do you call the parliament the political parliament got weaker the issues of extending political rights to the woman was controversial one within the liberal movement so their main idea was to extend the rights of a woman to give more rights to the woman it's got failure because of this uh, movement this because of this uh, uh, decision which is taken by the Wilhelm IV. Women had formed their own political association and founded newspaper and taken part in the political meeting and the demonstrations. Women then when they knew about the situation or the decision which is taken by him then they have created their own group association. They started to uh, what do you call publish their opinion with the uh, making use of a paper and the journalism like uh, many other uh, uh, they have taken part in the political meetings the me uh, the humans were admitted only as a uh, observers uh, observers to stand in the visitor gallery so there in the versailles versailles it was uh, like a parliament created by this national uh, uh, assembly there earlier they didn't have rights the women they didn't have right to vote and either to join there but now uh, the movement which is led by the women the movement has given a right for this woman to uh, join the meeting which will be held in the versailles but they could not make uh, they, they will be not having the part of the meeting so they can they can be as observer they can observe but they cannot take a participation in that meeting it was a condition there the monarchs were beginning uh, beginning to realize that the cycle of cycle if revolution and representation could be ended by the granting concessions to the liberal nationalist revolutionaries uh, they were uh, started to give uh, somewhat concession they have started to give a somewhat uh, what do you call they have granted the concession for the liberal national movement and the revolutionaries so they they have given some permissions means they have created their own rules which is supported for this nationalism and the liberalism in the year of 1848 the aristocratic monarchy of a central and the eastern europe began to introduce the changes that had already taken place in the western europe before 1840 here the 1815 before the 1815 the changes was taken was made under the civil code of 1804 is it not in uh, under the napoleon rule is it not so that was we were discussing so that the 1804 uh, napoleonic code uh, was familiar with the common people is it not 
the changes which he has made and that it was familiar with the common people the same changes they have brought in the 1848 before 1850 it was there in 1848 the again the monarchies they have brought a same rules and regulations to support the people so that people can satisfy with the rules and regulations which is made by the monarchy and they will not their idea was to they will not uh, make a movement against of their uh, against of the monarchy that was their ideas so that's the reason they have conduct means they have implemented so many laws 1815 indigade means before 1850 alli napoleonic code 1804 alli yenenu changes madirthanalla aa changes common people ge parvagirutte ee 1848 alli 1848 ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಕೂಡ ಕಾಮನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಗೆ ಪರವಾಗ ರೀತಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಗೋ ರೀತಿ ಅವರು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ರಾಜ ರಾಜಪ್ರಭುತ್ವದವರು ಅಂದರೆ ರಾಜ ಮನೆ ತಂದವರು ಆವಾಗ ರಾಜ ಮನೆ ತವರು ಮನೆ ತಂದವರು ಈ ಥರ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಕಾಮನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಗಳು ಅವ್ರೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಇವ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ದಂಗೆ ಹೇಳಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಇವ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಫೈಟ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಅದೊಂದು ಆ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಆಲೋಚನೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇವರು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಹಳೆಯ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ನ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ದ ಹಬ್ಸ್ಬರ್ಗ್ ರೂಲರ್ಸ್ ಹಬ್ಸ್ಬರ್ಗ್ ಎಂಪೈರ್ ಏನಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಅಂಗೇರಿನ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಟೋನಮಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅಂಗೇರಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಜಾಗದ ಆ ಅಂಗೇರಿಯನ್ನು ಯಾವುದೇ ರಾಜ ರೂಲ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಸಿಗ್ದಂಗೆ ಆದರೆ ಆ ಅಂಗೇರಿ ರಾಜನ ಕೈ ಕಳಿಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆದರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅದು ಡಾಮಿನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ರೇಂಜ್ ಅದು ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಒಪ್ಪಿಗೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಬ್ಸ್ಬರ್ಗ್ ಅವರು ಹಂಗೇರಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂಗೆ ರಿಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂಗೆ ಅದು ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ so these all the revolutions this all the movement of revolution that led to create a unification that led to create a one nation state so this is the uh, process to get a nationalism to get a one nation state so now so we will discuss about the next concept it's about making of germany and italy so now the germany and italy was uh, fragmented into so many territories it was divided into so many territory and it was ruled by the different types of rulers is not now people they are raised they are rose their voice against of the monarchy and the monarchy they have introduced the old laws to to gain uh, the support of a common people but the common people like uh, revolutionaries of middle class people and the liberalist people they have they didn't get compromise with the changes which is made by the monarchy their main idea their main aim to aim is to get a one nation state for the germany and italy so that's what you will be discussing here we will discuss about the first german unification like so how the german got the unification here after 1848 so we will be discussing continuation of this after 1848 so after 1848 the nationalism in the europe moved away from the association with the democratic and revolution the nationalism in the europe so these the association of a democracy democracy this uh, in the 1848 the autocratic democracy they have came up with a new rules means the old rules actually is a old rules they came up with the rules which was con- which was uh, implemented before 1815 is not so the rules which was made by this autocratic monarchy in the 1848 it was not supported it was not accepted by the revolutionarist nationalism nationalist means revolutionarist in the europe in after 1848 so they came out, came out with this association of a democracy and the revolution they are they are continued their own revolution and this can be observed in the process by which germany and italy came to be unified as national state we can observe the how uh, they came out and what was the result of coming out from their association of a monarchy so they came out of a monarchy rules and they have started to get a nationalism is a you one uh, nation state that's called as unification of a nations called as germany and italy so that's what we will be discuss, discussing about a germany the national feeling were widespread among the middle classes of germany national feeling the romantic feeling and about the flag and about different things the national song it's all created the national feeling in every common people of a germany so these liberal initiatives to nation building was however repressed by the combination force of a monarchy and the military and supposed uh, supported by the large land owners of persia 
So large land owners of Persia, they have supported like uh, the land here the monarchy and the military group was one group and against of this monarchy and the military group so this uh, revolutionaries of middle class people they were um, making of uh, what do you call the revolution against of this uh, what do you call the monarchy here landlords of persia they have started to support the persian at the time the persian chief minister was uh, Otto van Bismarck. Otto van Bismarck. The name you should remember. The Otto van Bismarck. He was the chief minister of Persia. So this fellow he has started to support for the unification of Germany along with the help of neighboring countries. So neighboring countries like Austria, Denmark. So Persia took on leadership of a movement. So Persia is a country, the small fragmentation of a uh, what do you call? It was a, a small fragmentation of a territory of a Persia. There, the leader of a Persia was the chief minister Ottoman Bismarck. He has taken the leadership and he led the movement. So, uh, this movement has took for the three years. It was continued for the three years. Three uh, years for the three war, mainly the three war. The three wars was in here with Austria, Denmark, and the France ended in the Persian victory. So, these three wars was against of Austria, Denmark. And the France. So this uh, Persia, the Persian, uh, they have gathered the people of a common people and the middle class people along with the means this uh, revolution was led by the Ottoman Empire. So this revolution was against of Austria, Denmark, then the France. So this Persia got uh, means victory against of Austria, then Denmark, and finally they got a victory against of France. So, by getting a victory against France in the 1871, they have selected William I as the uh, what do you call the ruler of that Persian. So, they have selected William I. So you have to remember the names of Ottoman Bismarck and William I. So, after 1871, they have uh, got a uh, republic for this Persia. Means they have won the, all the victory against of uh, Denmark, Austria, then France. So, they have selected William I as their leader. Means the ruler. So then afterwards in the 18th uh, January of 1871 they have, they have conducted a meeting again like a congress again. So that meeting was uh, included with the Ottoman Bismarck, Bismarck and also the important uh, uh, ministers and along with the uh, other important military, camp, uh, military uh, chief commanders was included in that at the time. In the 18th January and 1871 the finally they have selected the another one ruler called as uh, William uh, Kaiser William One Kaiser William One in the, 18, in the 1871 January the William One has selected as a ruler but after the conducting meeting along with this Ottoman Bismarck they have selected the Kaiser William One as the a new uh, head means uh, called as a new ruler for the Persia. The nation building process in Germany has dom uh, demonstrated the domination of Persia state power. The new state placed a strong emphasis on modernizing the uh, uh, currency, banking, legal, uh, legal and judicial system in the Germany. So by this, so they got a republic, means they have got a unification, means the it's called as a Germany now. So all the Denmark, Bismarck and the France and the Persia got unif unified and they have called it as a Germany. So now they have got one nation state as Germany. So that Germany was led by the under the rural of Kaiser William I. So that was, that was the Germany, they have got a unification. Next we will discuss about the Italian unification, Italy. So like uh, Germany, the Italy was also led by the one revolution, you know about that revolutionary, we are uh, in the first concept I told you to remember the one revolution's name, it's called as Giuseppe Mazzani. So Giuseppe, Giuseppe Mazzani is a uh, well known revolutionarist, is it not? So he is the one or he is the chief architecture to get a unification of Italy. So now we will be discussing about the Giuseppe Mazzani. Like Germany, Italy to have the long history of a political fragmentations. The Italians were scattered over several dynasties, state as well as the multinational Habsburg Empire. You know, as like the Germany, uh, that earlier the Germany was fragmented, divided into so many territories. Same like that in Italy, also fragmented, divided into so many territories. So this uh, main idea of this uh, Giuseppe Mazzani was to gather all these things as together to make a one nation state. For that, he has created 
the secret society earlier we discussed he has created a two secret society uh, uh, ang italy and ang germany is that yes ang italy and ang germany, uh, germany what uh, we have discussed about that earlier so here yeah, italy was divided into seven states earlier the italy was divided into seven states the italian language had not acquired the one common form and still had many regionals and local variations the italy it was not have spoken with the one languages the people of italy it was divided into so many territories that so many territory was ruled by the so many monarchies like a uh, small rulers like a uh, kings so uh, in that reason that they, uh, they used to spoke a uh, different uh, languages than other different territories in there and their culture was a uh, different so the main idea for these uh, middle class peoples are uh, revolutionaries was to gather everybody to to make them as uh, speaking one language to continue the one uh, culture it was their idea so this gusabi gusipi mazani had sought uh, uh, sought to put together the coherent program for all the unification uh, the italian republic and italy for the disintegration of the goal the failures of revolutionary uprising both in 1831 1848 meant that the mantle now fell the sardinia pitmont under the ruler of a king victoria emmanuel ii to unify the italian states through the war you know as like a ottoman bismarck in the germany uh, unification so you need to remember the gusbi uh, mazani's name along with the victoria emmanuel second you know the name of uh, what was his name the chief minister of a persia it was germany now here uh, its name kavior c a v u uh, c a v o v u r the kavior so he was a chief minister of italy the kavior was a chief minister of italy he is the person who led the uh, revolution who is headed the revolution uh, is the person who started for the uh, unification of italy same like the ottoman um, uh, ottoman bismarck ottoman bismarck was a chief minister of persia he is a person who led the german unification but at last uh, kaiser william one has chosen as head of that unif uh, germany unified germany same like in the italy so italy unification was led by this kavir the chief minister kavir was uh, the head of this uh, germany so along with the help of other military campaigns this kavir started to continue means is continued the revolution to unify the german states means uh, sorry italian states so then afterwards the king victoria emmanuel yes after the unification of uh, italy the king victoria emmanuel yes selected as a leader so italy italy offered them one possibility of economic development and a political dominations the italy was neither a revolutionary nor a democratic uh, it was uh, neither revolutionary or democratic is it not it was not under it was not ruled by the monarchy fully or it was not uh, 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 revolutionary by the revolutionaries like a uh, middle class it was both it was uh, what you call the um, it was balanced both the italian population among whom rates as a literacy were high illiterates were high and remained blissfully unaware of a liberal national ideology so they were more in, a, in the italy they were more uh, illiterate persons so they got a unifications and uh, after getting a unification after a long war the italy got unifications so they have chosen this uh, victor william ii as their leader so that was how the uh, germany and unification how they got a uh, one nation state they have unified as a one nation state now another one sub concept it's not a main it's a sub concept the strangest case of britain the model of the nation or the nation state some scholars have argued is a great britain so great britain is apart from all these things is not so great britain uh, they had a uh, some power they had more power because so great britain had control of the north america and they had a control of uh, india also so that they were getting support from all these things surprisingly they were getting support uh, from uh, all these countries important countries so that they were somewhat stronger than all these countries so they were somewhat different group from the, all these uh, countries it was the result of a long drawn out process there was no british nation prior to the 18th century 
the united kingdom of great britain meant it effect, it effect the england was able to impose its influence on the scotland now the the house uh, the great britain they have made a war against of a scotland and they have uh, what was inclusion they made a inclusion of a scotland they have included scotland country under their control and they have mentioned it as united kingdom of great britain so it was great uh, britain so now uh, they have defeated the scotland and they have taken the scotland under their control now it is mentioned as a united kingdom of great britain the british parliament was henceforth dominated by english members it was parliament was dominated by the english member over there in the britain the ireland was forcibly incorporated into the united kingdom 1801 first they have taken means they have included scotland under their control then afterwards in 1801 they have taken ireland under their control so this the parliament was uh, uh, what do you call dominated by the britishers it was dominated by britishers they have taken scotland ireland under their control the british flag the national anthem the english language were actively promoted and the order national survived only by the sub uh, subordinate partners on this union so they have introduced their own flags and the national anthem was introduced in britain so that was the unification of a germany and the italy and about the cases in the germany what we discuss now then we are left with the two more concept will continue in the next classes make use of your textbook and i hope you understood thank you have a nice day